Hi everyone and welcome to a reading for Leo. I did a quick shuffle with the uh, Neo Tarot cards and this is what's popped out. So we'll have a look. This popped out then that. So we'll have a look at this first. You could find that you've ended up having to juggle money to try and figure out how to find your own true happiness here. You want to be recognised for exactly who and what you are. Not necessarily by what you do, but who and what you are, the whole package. You can pour your emotions out, yes, that's for sure. But I think you're finding that you actually feel like you're walking a bit of a tightrope at the moment here. And you just want to sit in your own sort of comfortableness and just be happy. Um... But yeah, we'll see if this clarifies it. You could be looking at back at your past, maybe how you were raised or how your parents grew up or the scenario that you were raised in to say that you want to actually move further and farther than that. But we'll get some, um, we'll see what's going on. Beautiful cards. I think you really feel like you just want to move towards your ultimate happiness. You really just want to figure it out and you've been looking within for a long time to figure out what is my ultimate happiness? What does bring me that joy? I do things and I keep on thinking it's going to be, it's going to make me really darn happy and it might for a little while, but then it loses its tarnish. And I move on again. You know, that's how it's some feeling with that. And you could feel like you've had to leave for situations in your life where you've had to leave what you thought was your, your true happiness. In true Leo style, though, you could weather any storm. You always turn to your intuition. And bear yourself, bear yourself to the universe. There's no holding you down. You're incredibly strong, stronger than people realize. And can go without for a very long period of time in the, in the pursuit of that happiness. Sometimes on the way you meet people that really do heal you. Sometimes on the way you meet people that sting you. But you rise above it all and you keep on going. What you're focusing on now is trying to keep your money as positive as you can because you know that really keeps your world positive. When I eat with the the money at the base is looked after, everything else, you know, you don't have to worry about that and where you're gonna live and pay your bills and all that. And you can sort of start to use that incredible strength to true, find your true happiness. There's someone really loyal here coming with a um, an offer. You could be too focused on just paying the bills here to actually see it. But you're managing, you're doing it with grace and skill, actually. It, you'd love to be working with two other people here. Or it's really going to take balancing your masculine and feminine sides here to get the wisdom, to get this, this bounty that you've been looking for, this happiness and financial stability that builds to... 
a place of happiness. So at the moment, that's what you could be envisioning. All my life, my finances haven't exactly been stable. And I haven't exactly been stable because of it. The financial system has been a struggle. It's been a struggle for a lot of people. Been a struggle for everybody. But you're not, you can figure it out. And you will figure it out. Because the passion that you've got, you want to be just sitting here in happiness, true happiness. What is your true happiness? It's going to take diving deep. Is it money? I don't think so. You know that having the money at the base there is it, but values, reason, what is important to you now? Interesting. So the car, jewels and all this, and she's holding a heart. What is important to you now? I think the most important thing is to What's your happiness? Physical comfort, emotional comfort, love of self, nature, your life. Be grateful. But let's see if there's any more blocks. Knowing yourself, putting the pieces back together. So you are so much more than what this world tells you you are. <laughs> Interesting. Mm. So yes, this could literally be in your family. We do this. Get to know the different parts of yourself. Life purpose, aligning oh. with, lo with love leads you to your life purpose. And parents, your parents love you as much as they are able to. So this could be parents literally or it could be society at large saying that you need to be this, you need to do this, this is what's expected of you. The only way to real true happiness true true happiness is to do what you love absolute love and i tell you what when leo's doing what they love the world's a better place so get to know the different parts of yourself leo hey because you need to teach people your passion your passion because you're a gift, absolute gift of passion when you do that. Aligning with love leads you to your life purpose. Now, this could be seen as aligning with another individual, absolutely. But you can, I don't know if you can see there's the city and the suits and the lights and all that at the bottom. And this individual is dropping her. She's in a suit and she's following her dream to nature to freedom mm. it's we don't have to do what is expected of us or what our parents say we should be doing yes don't give up your day job but this is this is a call from spirit to say leo we need to get you back into your energy because we need you in the world to spread your divine light through your inspiration, through your passions. We need you to teach. We need you to teach the younger people. 
Wow, there you go. What's your passion? What brings you? You're happy. Not what society or others say you should be doing. Fantastic. All right. I hope this helped. I love you all and bye for now.